Hello YouTube, it is I, Random Robin, and we are returning with Lost Girl. Now, last time, stuff happened. <laughs> uh, basically, Serena and Layla got closer together, they started getting really, really close, and then Layla kissed Serena, but Serena didn't quite respond, you know, like who was going to expect that, so, unfortunately... That upset Layla, and now Layla is trying to get away from Serena, but Serena's like, no, 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 I need to talk to you. So now that's what's happening here, basically. So let's uh, let's go ahead and jump in there and get back into it. Hope everyone's doing okay. Last time we ended it with finding Layla, so we'll see what happens now. Here we go. So yeah, we just got into Layla's house and like, you know started to talk to her and try and figure everything out so let me just sorry i had to move the thing uh let's see where, okay so we're just yeah we're just gonna continue where we left off so let's see layla had already claimed her seat by the time serena had entered the room the large den desk in the center spread out in front of the fox was an open novel which she had just looked up from reading a pen holder scattered papers written in dark ink and numerous other office supplies I suppose Charlotte will be here before long? Yes. Then I suppose I will wait for any serious discussions until after she has returned and left completely. I fear we both have a lot to say. Serena nodded, her eyes downcast. Yeah, unfortunately Serena wasn't expecting the kiss, and when she didn't return the kiss, Layla's like, nah, <laughs> I, I ain't dealing with this. <laughs> so that's why Layla's kind of like, you know, being very not cool with Serena right now. She wanted to speak her mind now, but Layla was right. If she spoke now, she'd most likely just get interrupted by Charlotte, and she wouldn't get her point across in time. So Serena felt it best to examine the study while she waited. If there was any room she'd want to spend the most time in, inside a mansion, the study was definitely it. The walls were lined with bookshelves, nearly 20 of them, and each space on them was filled with books. There were two red cushioned couches and a coffee table with a rose flower arrangement. That sounds like a lovely place. Like I said, like I said before, the backgrounds and all this are lovely. Like, like they're all more of a solid color for the most part. Like all this blue. But it still looks like a nice image behind these characters. Uh, not to mention the den desk with its padded desk chair. That's what I need right now. <laughs> Which was a Serena thought nearly ten times as big as the desk she had back in her dorm. Behind the den desk, Serena noted, was a portrait of a family portrait. I don't think the use of portrait was needed twice, but moving on. Of three foxes with a little girl framing the center. I suppose you've never seen my parents. This, is, this portrait was painted when I was about five years old. I wonder what happened to that girl there. The young fox in the photo Serena studied was holding onto both her parents' hands and was smiling tenderly. It truly looked like a time when Layla was the most happy before she was tainted with the plague of loneliness. Like, last time, I'm already getting kind of emotional from this game. Because I'm, I'm thinking about all of that's happened so far. And it's really... Uh, see, my hands don't really show on the camera, huh? It's, it's, it's really touching. Up until I was about seven, my parents were almost always around. They were busy with work, but they always took the time to see me, to play with me. I was so happy. But, sometime after my seventh birthday, they changed. I don't really understand why, but they became obsessed with work, so much so that they let it take over their lives. They forced me to stay inside the manor after that, never to leave until I came of age. I didn't have anywhere to run to, though, so it didn't even occur to me to run away anyway. It was comforting to Serena that at least Layla got to experience part of a normal, happy childhood. But it also made her sad that it ended so early in the other's life. She knew how easy it was for people to become obsessed, especially if it was over their own life's work. If Serena and her brothers hadn't grown up on a farm, working with their parents constantly, perhaps Serena would have been in a similar situation. It made Serena even sadder to realize that Layla didn't have anywhere else she wanted to go. We can't make our parents' decisions, but we do have the power to make our own. That's right. And I believe 
that you do have a place to run to now. Or rather, a person. Serena. But before Serena could elaborate on that, Charlotte rushed into the room with two fleece blankets folded over her shoulder, carrying a full porcelain tea set on a tray in her hands. That's skill. <laughs> she set down the tray in the middle of the coffee table and the blankets down on the couch, one on each. I do apologize if I interrupted. If you two need anything else, then I am just a bell away. Thank you, Charlotte. That'll be all. Serena nodded her thanks and the maid disappeared. Closing the door, closing the door study to the study behind her. Serena wondered if they really did have a bell they used to summon maids, like something out of a storybook. But she had more pressing matters to discuss than bells and maids right now. So, T? We have a rather complicated system, so I'll set it out. Layla stood up from the den desk and made her way over to the couch opposite of where Serena was standing. She began to methodically place the various cups and bowls into various places across the coffee table, all without disturbing the rose centerpiece even once. That's also skill. <laughs> she poured down and set down two filled teacups and their matching saucers, one on either side of the coffee table. She pointed towards multiple different bowls, which were all lidded and filled with various substances. This is creamer, sugar, honey, lemon, and that tiny tin has cookies. This looks amazing! She prepared it all so fast, too. Like a professional. <laughs> I swear, Charlotte keeps a tea set on the ready at all times. Nice. At that, Serena giggled. She sat down on the couch and began to prepare her tea. She took three sugar cubes, about two tablespoons full of milk, and stirred. Milk tea with sugar was always a favorite of her since she was a kid. I'm not too much of a tea drinker, but certain teas are really nice to me. Layla herself added a tablespoon of honey and sprinkled it with lemon before casually taking a sip. See, I'm not going to lie, like the tea they're talking about is really good sounding. <laughs> Let's see. The way she sat so properly made Serena feel out of place. It's a black Darjeeling tea from all the way in India. One of the best teas money can buy. Charlotte always makes sure we have it on hand. It's a personal favorite of mine. Serena took that as her invitation to drink. She lifted the teacup, and as soon as the liquid hit her tongue, she was punched with a barrage of flavor. The use of spices gave it a kick, but the milk and warmth of it made it feel like home. It smelled like cinnamon, and Serena cupped it in her hands as if she was holding a golden treasure. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> it makes me all cozy. Charlotte will be happy to hear you like it. Despite herself, Layla smiled, and Serena's smile deepened. But upon remembering the moment a week ago, they both frowned and directed their gaze to the black tea in their cups. I know you might want to talk about it, but I can just I can't just ignore this. Just forget everything we did together like it was nothing? I can't not see you anymore and be okay. I know it hurts right now, but time heals all wounds. So the fact that Layla is acting like this, she's been through this kind of like abandonment before. She talked about that in the previous episode. And when you get to the point where someone leaving you, like, you don't really react to it anymore, you know you've been abandoned way too many times. <laughs> you will be okay, eventually. A life without you, Layla, without the one I care about most, is not a life at all. How am I supposed to be okay? Serena was shaking again, her teacup chattering against the saucer. Layla set her cup on the coffee table. It was only half empty. You've made it clear how you feel about me. Serena, and I've made it clear how I feel about you, and it's clear to me that those are not the same. This is, it hurts me too, believe me, but we can't just keep going and pretend that everything is okay. I can't lie and hide my feelings anymore. When Serena looked up, she saw a glaze of tears cross Layla's eyes, one that matched Serena's own. Both of them were upset for their own reasons, and those reasons were both understandable. But there was something Serena felt would easily mend this. Then don't. What? What are you saying? Don't hide your feelings, Layla. I want to see you. The real you. I want to see everything. I don't care how dark, how deep. I want to see all of it. I want to see you, Layla. And if you're telling me the truth, then you should want to see me too. So why are you trying to hide? Why are you trying to push me away? You told me once that I shouldn't run away from my feelings, that I should face them head on. I'm ready to do that now, but it seems like you don't want to listen. They've already decided how I feel. At this, Layla stood up, her hands clenched into fists. 
And what the hell else am I supposed to think? You walked up to me, tell me that you want me to be your forever friend, when I, I, I'm totally in love with you. So, that's a, <laughs> that's a big news. <laughs> I, we, obviously, if you watch the previous one, you get the gist of that was the idea. But, whew. And you don't even realize it. Serena's eyes went wide. She didn't expect Layla to get this emotional. And she didn't like that Layla was upset. But she felt it necessary to let all their thoughts out here and now. Even if it didn't work out in the end. That way she could go home saying at least she spoke her true feelings. And she tried her best. She gave Layla a firm, serious look. And do you not think I'm in love with you? That's the reason I want to be with you. I want you as my best friend is because I love you? I always thought living within loving my best friend was just a pipe dream. But, but with you, I felt it could actually be possible. And it's what I want more than anything in the world. Layla looked as if someone had slapped her in the face. She was shaking, unable to comprehend what Serena was telling her. But, but you, you didn't even kiss me back. Why? Serena sighed, looking down at her, her nearly empty teacup. Because I was surprised. I knew you felt strongly about me, but I wasn't for sure what, and it took me a while to realize how I actually felt about it all. But I know now. I know that I love you, Layla. And I want to be with you, more than anything. Serena. Oh. <laughs> Aww. See, that's cute. I I love this story. Just, like, th this this is such a, a moment, you know? <laughs> Before she knew it, Serena was in Layla's arms. Although they had a coffee table and a tea set between them, it felt as if nothing in the world could stop them as long as they were together. That's nice. They held each other with a fierceness, afraid that if they let go, they would never be able to touch again. I love you, Serena. So much. I love you too. More than anything. That's, you know, that's, that's love. <laughs> when they pulled apart, Layla cupped Serena's face in her hands, and Serena felt herself give in to Layla's warmth. She was not afraid now, nor was she surprised. She knew how she felt, and even as Layla's mouth crashed against hers, she felt her lips crash against the others with the same amount of fierceness of warmth. After a few moments, their lips parted. They both smiled, pressing their foreheads against each other's. Let's never separate again. That's cute. One year later? Wow, that's a time skip. Oh, but look at that pretty background, though. <laughs> that's a very pretty background. One year later. Yeah, I, I, it's even prettier than I imagined. I, I agree, Layla. That, that is beautiful. Like, you all, you guys, like, that's a beautiful background. <laughs> The colors work so beautifully together. Don't get too excited or you'll fall in. Serena so stuck her tongue out of Layla, ignoring her, and continued to run toward the water. When she reached the spot where the land of water met, she took off her sandals, allowing the chilled elements to sink through her toes. She felt the fall ocean, the fall ocean breeze against her skin and breathed in and out a content sigh. I don't know why no one comes here in the fall. It's so nice. People are too obsessed with their scorching weather and shorts and sun umbrellas. They'd save a lot more money if they came in the fall, honestly. The bunny girl chuckled, and the fox girl smiled at her. Serena never got tired of Layla's sarcasm, or did Layla ever get tired of Serena's wonder and everything. It had been a year since they had kissed in the study, since they had become girlfriends, and their adventures, they decided, were only just beginning. Adventures were like watching the or Orionids meteor shower on the beach in the fall. I had to, I had to kind of look that word in the eyes a bit there, you know? <laughs> They set out beach chairs and blankets just above the current tide, leaning back so they could get the full view of the ocean night sky. Oh, the open night sky. <laughs> the stars responded by waving to them under the golden crescent moon. Serena was grateful she had listened to Layla, and had agreed to spend the second to last weekend in October watching shooting stars. Ah, oh, there's one! Every time a shooting star appeared, Serena pointed at it like a child who was seeing something for the first time. Although she had seen shooting stars before, she had never gone to a meteor shower with another person. Not even her family, or Layla, until now. So this really was a first for her. How many wishes have you made yet? Only one. Just one? But we've seen at least five stars by now. I only need one wish for you to be by my side forever. Aww. <laughs> that's, that's touching. 
I'm not gonna lie, you know, people say if you get too happy, you're gonna get diabetes from it, but I wish I could be that happy. <laughs> Layla couldn't help but blush, rolling her eyes. You don't need to rely on a star for that, you know. I know, but it's the first one that came to mind. Then what about wishing for yourself? For myself? Not about the two of us, or someone else, but for yourself alone. Your wish, Serena. Serena thought long and hard as her and Layla settled into a comfortable silence as they watched the stars glisten above them. If she had one wish, but she could only wish for something for herself, nothing to do with anything else, what should she shoot? What should she choose? What should she choose? <laughs> one more, one more round of me not knowing how to read, right? <laughs> Eventually, she settled on a wish, holding her hands over her heart and closing her eyes as if she was saying a prayer to the stars. Then I wish for my writing to reach someone. Even if it becomes a forgotten novel, like the Starless Magician, I want it to mean something to someone. And if I can touch even one person, then that's enough for me. That is so like you, Miss Star. Always wishing for other people's happiness. Even as your own wish. <laughs> but it's my wish to make others happy. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. In fact, I'd say you're doing a great job of it. You think? I couldn't be happier than being here with you. Layla reached over and took Serena's hand in her own. I'm glad, because no matter where we are, I'm always happiest when I'm with you. Aww. Serena gave the other's hand a strong squeeze, and they both turned their attention back to the stars. They're, they were here, together, hand in hand, and that was all they needed to feel happy, to feel at peace. So, have you wished it all yet? Just once. Oh? You must have seen nearly 20 shooting stars by now. Serena teased, mocking Lila's voice. Lila rolled her eyes, even though she knew Serena couldn't see it. But Lila was smiling, brighter than ever. I wished for us to be together. Forever. Two wishes are stronger than one. Oh. Look at that picture. <laughs> oh my god, that's... That's... That's uh, the best ending right there. Honestly, th these two ending up together. Yep. <laughs> I'm very... I'm be if, if anyone who knows this game better than I do, or knows this story better than I do, watches this, I am truly happy I gave this thing, this, the Lost Girl, some time. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I, I used to like visual novels a lot, and used to like reading a lot, and, well... When I had like a little dinky, I had like a dinky little laptop. Like right now, I have a pretty standard size one. I used to have like a little baby laptop. It was like barely even considered a notebook, really. <laughs> and I used to play all kinds of visual novels. I'd find a lot of them were very nice. Maybe I'll do more if anyone likes this. Yeah, tell you what, leave a like on any of the Lost Girl videos, and maybe you'll see another visual novel in the future. Cause I like I like these things to be honest, even if they're the Especially if they're the not naughty ones, like just cute romance stories like this. Like, what, what can I say? I was, I like them. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get to the end here, shall we? Because I think that's where we are. Which also makes me sad because I was so close to the end before I ended the last video. They both squeezed each other's hands, feeling each other's warmth, each other's hearts between them. They were connected on a level that was quite like the stars. They were each one bright star in a million, separated by fate, but they had managed to find each other across the darkness of the sky, and that had changed everything. Serena? Yeah? I love you. Always. And I love you forever. In the labyrinth of life, the two stars had connected, creating a brightness that was unlike any in the universe. They created their own story, they set their own chart to revolve around one another. Together, they shone so much brighter than ever on their own. And they vowed to never be forgotten, to never be for apart, always and forever. The end. <sighs> and I think, I think that's it. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't go any further. Hang on, let me do this. There we go. Now we just, now we can just appreciate that screen. So this, has been Lost Girl. Oh, wow, the music's on. Oh, no, there it goes. <laughs> uh, so this has been Lost Girl. It's a very lovely visual novel. Um, hang on one second. Let me, let me identify who the maker is.
Oops. Okay, so the music's gonna go quiet because I'm doing a thing. Uh, I got I gotta give the credits. This was done by Daisy. Apparently, this was made by Daisy Baca. Daisy Baca on itch.io. The link to the game will be in the the link to the game will be in the description. So if you guys want to enjoy the story on your own time and not have a big bird man try and read it to you in a very horrible fashion, <laughs> by all means, I I highly recommend it. <laughs> it's just something it's just something lovely to look at, you know? Like it's very well done. Like I've seen visual novels with static images. They barely even react when things happen. You see no facial changes until, like, this kind of screen. And this one here was beautiful compared to any others that I've seen. So, kudos to you, uh, Daisy Baca, if that is, that, if I'm saying the right name here. <laughs> uh, I noticed that when I started up, there's a Pearl Mage, like, logo on there, you know? So, whoever, whoever exactly made this, it's very beautiful. And I'm very glad I got to try it out. <laughs> and then with that, uh, I was surprised how close to the end I was, actually, which makes me feel bad that I just didn't finish it last time. But, hey, we got to enjoy it one more time, huh? If you haven't subscribed already and would like to, you know, I'd appreciate it. You know, uh, if you like the video or like any of the series, leave some likes, some comments. If you like these kinds of things, like visual novels, maybe I'll do more in the future. Uh, like I said, if this gets some likes, or at least, you know, people seem to enjoy it more, I'll I'll definitely do more. Um, maybe, maybe leave some suggestions in the comments. You know, let me know if there's others out there that are just as lovely as this. Um, oh, wait, hang on. I wanted to get rid of this. There you go. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I guess that'll be it. So until next time, this has been Random Robin, and uh, have a good one.